Hey guys, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. And in this video, we are we are having a different requirement. I am going to explain about that. Before that, please do subscribe to my channel in case you have not done that already. We have ample of UiPath learning contents on my channel, and we try to update on a regular basis. So please do subscribe and hit on the bell icon. Now let's understand what is the requirement here. So the requirement is this is the raw data in our Excel and then out of this raw data I need only specific data. So what is that specific data let me explain. So I need only the date and the ID number. So out of this entire data I need the date and the ID number. So let me run the sequence we are going to go through this entire sequence I am going to recreate this once again but let me show you what I need. So you saw the raw data right out of the raw data the required data is the date and the ID number. So you can see if you could see I just got the date number space and the ID number. These are the only two data I need out of the entire raw data. So this is also one of the use case where a, a column would have a lot of data and out of that out of that multiple data uh, you might require only specific data to be fetched and written on a different column or a different sheet. So you can see by running the workflow it has given me the data what I needed and how this can be designed let's see that and in this entire workflow I am using the modern design excel files. So here you will also learn about for each excel row. So earlier you know we are all used to for each data table right for each row data table. So this activity is very advanced you know you don't have to create a data table and then go through that and then write that in a write range activity read range activity so here the number of activities with the modern design is quite less and how to do that let's have a check okay so let's begin from from the start okay we will start and then uh, the very first thing what i should do because this is excel data let me delete this output and save it because this is excel data I will simply type excel and I am going to use the excel process scope as right that should be the first activity and after the excel process scope within this do I will be dragging and dropping the other activity known as use excel file ok. So use excel file now here I should point to the specific file which contains the data ok. I have selected and here uh, yeah nothing to change just leave everything as it is and the next thing what I need is I uh, I need to look through the data. So earlier we used to do a read range right we used to read that data and then put it in a, into a data table and then go through a for each loop. You can you don't really need all of that with the modern design you have something known as for each excel row for each excel row this is a very important you know very useful activity I am going to show you how to use that ok. So earlier if you remember if you type for each right we used to use this activity right for each row where is that for each row in data table right we used to use this activity and then we used to use a read range activity. So now I am avoiding all of that and I will be able to do everything just by using for each excel row activity this is the new activity ok I don't need read range I don't need for each row so that is the advantage. Now let's see how to use it first of all this has the a variable or by default variable known as current row ok and here I need to provide the range I don't have to create a data table variable nothing I have to do very simple I need to hit on the plus sign hit on the excel and go to indicate in excel and I am going to select the entire table where I would like to write. So my out output I would like to write in the B column so I am selecting the entire table for the moment and hit on confirm right. So what are the columns column names that we have in the excel raw data is the column name and the second column name is required data this will be this will be using the column names will be using in this for each excel row ok. Let me make it slightly bigger okay now you should be able to view it in a better way now for each excel row activity is there now what should i do so it is reading the data 
and then after reading the data I can utilize the way I want so what I will do I am going to use a simple assign activity okay now in the assign activity I will create a variable called required value or required data let's create required value okay I'll create a new variable called required value so it remains different from the column name okay just to differentiate now what I'm going to write in the values is very important okay this is what is needed you know that is what you need to learn so first thing because we are already inside a for each loop and the variable which is holding the data from the excel is current row so I'll say current row in bracket I'm going to provide within the parenthesis I'm going to provide what I'm going to provide the column name so this is raw data I'll copy it and I'm going to provide the column name. current row of the loop and then within parenthesis double quote I am using the column name and I'm going to convert dot to string okay when the loop will run it is going to look for the uh, raw data it is going to look for the this column okay whichever is the column that you need to extract the data you need to point that out so once this is done then I'll say split okay I'm going to split it and how would I like to split so this could vary depending on the various kind of data so in this case it has a very common uh, feature where is there is a, a space right there is a space between each of this data so I need the first one last one so space is the delimiter which I should mention so I'll say split within parenthesis double quote and within double quote I will give a space and because this is a character I will say C getting it this is simple now when you do see uh, when, you, when you write this uh, what happens you would have when it splits uh, based on the space how many data you have 1, 2, 3 and 4 there will be 4 outputs there will be 4 different outputs but I don't need all the outputs right I don't need that in the uh, array format so it will split so the moment it splits uh, yeah the moment it splits it will have this data as an output Rakesh as an output, ID 1001 is output and minus 36895.00 as an output. So there will be four output. So now I want only the first one. So the first output, I will put parenthesis and within that I am going to mention 0. Getting it? So I am going to mention 0. So that means 0 means because this is an array kind of an output which will hold four different values for in this example so I, out of that four different values I want to access the uh, the very first one which is going to reside in the index number 0 so I am mentioning index number 0 for the output this output is an entire array output out of that I want the first value so I will mention 0 index number 0 and then I will give it a plus sign and I will put a double quote and give it a space so it will type a space and I'm going to hit on a plus sign and I'm going to copy the same thing once again okay and then here I want the second one why I'm saying 0 1 2 because the first is 0 Rakesh will be stayed in the index number 1 and the ID will be there in the index number 2 so 0 1 2 so I'm mentioning 2 the index number 2 so that the final output would be this one and the ID number the date and the ID number will be my final output with a space that I have defined here okay so depending on the need you can define a space colon whatever you like depending on the requirement you can mention that here so I'm using a space so click on ok so now first thing we have designed till now now we would like to see if if it is really extracting the value or not so we'll do a testing a little message box I'll use a message box and I'll say required value then I'm going to show you how do you really write it into the excel file right into the same column do you know how to do that yeah so give it a try on your own if not you know in this video you are going to get the solution so here I am saying required value required value let's run this okay if I run this let's see if the output is coming properly or not uh, raw data does not exist so this is the uipath.excel.excel app exception okay so if that is happening um, let me auto hide so there must be some kind of a error while copying pasting the raw data so let me save the excel file properly say copy the raw data type it here yeah 
here also let me paste it hope I'm given a space okay everything everything looks good I mean there's no change um, okay do one thing while using the for each Excel row ensure you select has headers okay if not it's not determining that it has a header and it's not reading the data so ensure has header is selected so that is the learning point let's uh, run it and see okay now you can see it has given me the required output 69 2022 and then id 1001 for the first row it has given me the proper output and for the second one also it has given me the proper output id 95218 so you can see you know for if you have thousand different data it doesn't matter it is going to give the output so we got the output let me delete the message box now here the next question is how would you write it to a specific uh, column uh, whose name is requ request data right required data so how would you write that again there is a very useful activity here what i will do i will use a write cell see i am avoiding lot of loops earlier we used to have lot of loops and then or else use a write range and lot of things right so here i am avoiding lot of things so i am using the modern design activity and i am using the write cell activity so this has the feature called auto increment row which will work like a loop it is going to auto increment and add the values so what to write so what i want to write i want to write the required value where to write just click on the plus sign it's quite easy right excel indicate in excel um okay let me try again plus excel uh, indicate in excel excel appears to be busy really let me save it let me try again plus excel indicate in excel yeah so i want to work so you should not select two things if you select two things see the confirm button becoming grayed out so i would select the first cell because i have a auto increment feature so i'll select the first cell hit on confirm okay so once i do that go back to the studio and you can see it has selected b2 cell where i want to start my uh, writing the output required value and then i am putting the auto increment row so automatically it is going to increment the row and is going to add the values and write the values to it okay very simple now let's do one thing uh, let's save this and quickly um, hope i have deleted the required data it's all blank and then now let's run it run the file and let's see the data it is appearing okay you can see it has written the right data for me which which is needed okay so this could be one of the use case similar to that you may be getting in your project too uh, right where you have to really so uh, there are also other options you can use a regular expression and all of that but again this also this is quite simple right this is quite simple to get the data just by doing bit of um, you know writing bit of code uh, vv.net code and getting the data what we need so we have used a split function here so pretty simple so you can use there are multiple different ways to do it so this is one of the way to achieve what is needed so thank you guys for watching it and in case you have not subscribed to the channel i always request do do subscribe on a regular basis we upload a lot of videos and i'm pretty sure you'll get a lot of benefit if you have a habit of going through videos on a regular basis uh, anytime you are free just open the video on your phone um, go through a couple of contents which you might have already done it you know it will help you to uh, revise uh, what you had already learned you know with a matter of few seconds um, for a single video you might have spent 10 minutes last time this time you may have, may have to spend only 20 seconds just to review and recap how that was done so please do have that habit uh, to open the videos on your phone um, you know try to revise the topics that you have already learned so that will be helpful during the interviews so thank you guys for watching it we are going to once again meet in our next video till then take care bye bye